Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. All right, boys. Big Buenos Dias race week day. Uh, I got some tough news. Leroy has a major issue. It's a vibration in the car from the clutch. Last night, I felt so defeated. Got home, edited, whatever. Got three hours of sleep. Just felt rough, right? Like, super defeated. Uh, so Brent and I got up and hid the vending machine. And I swear we got a sign from the race we got. We just wanted anything to drink. And all the vending machine had that we liked was Dr. Pepper. So Brent gets a Dr. Pepper. I click a Dr. Pepper. And there's not even Mountain Dew available in the machine. And a Dr. Pepper comes and a Mountain Dew falls with it. They don't even sell Mountain Dew in this machine. We literally died laughing. Funniest thing I've ever seen has to be a sign so i'm gonna crack it open with you guys take a little sip either someone's trying to poison me or that was a sign so we're gonna get this car fixed i believe we can fix it we might just have to take it all the way back apart again but the reason it took us eight hours yesterday and probably the reason why we messed up putting the clutch in somewhere because we were doing it on the ground and we were rushing uh, the portable lift guy's here, and we are allowed to use him before competition, so we're about to slap Leroy on the lift and see what's going on. What a struggle. This race week has been a tough one, boys, but let's get on the lift and get to work. So probably the best thing ever right now is that we have the portable car hoist guy here. He's setting up. He goes on all the race weeks. You guys saw us work on uh, James Nova in Vegas on this thing. This is going to save our lives today, and we are going to... Uh, Fix Leroy, hopefully. Well, we'll see what happens here in a minute. Find out everything we need to know right now. All right, I'm gonna show you guys something really quick. See the problem. You do see the problem. Yeah. Look at the pressure plate, how much of a, a swing it's got in it. It's, it's not set down right. Yeah, that's the problem. Holy crap. That's what we kind of thought. Damn, dude. That's what uh, we were doing. I mean, we have to. We have to take the whole car apart. Yeah. Oh, this is. Get to it. Mother effer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look at this wobble, guys. Ready for the wobble? Are we clear? You see any wires holding on that clutch? Oh, we got something somewhere. All right, I got a really nice set of China plastic micrometers. We're gonna measure all these shims, make sure they're even. We had something uneven, as you can tell. The disc looks totally fine, which is good. So, oh yeah, it was a hot spot for sure. So that spot was too low, which actually tells me right where I need to look because I've got a marking on this. All righty, look at this guys. Measured every shim set, all 0.61 of an inch. 
Except for this one, a little high, 0.64, and this one, a little low, 0.54. That is what caused all of this junk. Have that on these and, and, <laughs> and we were there together, which is the best yeah, part. Because we one washer fell, and Brent's like, I think it's this one. I'm like, I think it's this one. And we collectively decided to put it somewhere, and it was wrong. It was wrong. <laughs> Here we are. Yep. All right. Well, at least we got some food. We hadn't eaten since lunch yesterday. So this yeah. is nice to eat. It is great. Listen to this idea I just had. We'll just go on portable car hoist, buy one of these, and tow it behind Leroy next year. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Done deal. So now, theoretically, we should be able to hit this switch and it should not. Should I move the torque to you? Uh, I'm leave it in. Okay. It just shouldn't wobble. That's the trick here. Still got a little. Gotta put it back together. Send it. No, no clutch has perfect, no like yeah. disformity or anything. So I think we're good. It's just scary to see a little bit still. Yeah, I know. It's it's how they are. Yeah. How's the SRT 10 life treating you? Great. Going into day four. How's the gas mileage been? Because I advertise it as the worst gas mileage vehicle ever offered. Oh, uh, you're talking 9.1 in the city, 16 on interstate. Yeah, but she's got a big tank, right? Big tank. Got about 300 first day going 300 miles. through all the towns and stuff. Miles. It's pretty good. With the AC kicking. The AC efficient. on. Give her a rev, dude. Let me hear the little V10 yeah. action. Got a nice rasp. Little V10 action. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for taking good care of her. Oh, yeah. Nice of you to wake up, dude. How you been? You guys could have called me. <laughs> I would have watched a little earlier. All right. So it's 1.30, we got 180 miles to drive to get to the track, make a hit, get first place back. We're in second place, that sucks. Gotta go earn it back. All right, so we just rolled 21,000 miles in the SRT. I love this truck. If I could enter in for it, I would. Truck's doing really good. Got, let's see what we got here. 16.5 miles per gallon the interstate doing 60 miles an hour she's thirsty but you got all these horse torques under the hood uh, first checkpoint yeah that's pretty cool we're gonna keep rolling and now we're in sandstill traffic so that's tight all right wonderful so we're on the side of the road radiator fans been working Time to get the power probe out. Look at that, temps dropping. We popped in our spare relay that we just so happened to get from Summit. Right, I was like, we should get a relay. We got two spare relays, popped it in, fans kicked on. We're good. Thank God. Well, well guys, to add to the mess, we just missed the turn by about 20 miles. It's gonna cost us about 30 minutes worth of time. All around tough break, but the car's running good, so that's good. But we're gonna be late tonight. All right, boys, another item on the list. We're driving down the road. Car stops being able to turn left. The steering U joint down here is locked up. So we're gonna try and feed it down the shaft a little more, but the car will like kind of get stuck when I'm turning. We came into this left hander up here, had to force it through the turn. It was a little sketch. See the shaft sticking out the middle? Oh, oh I do. so it's hitting itself. Fixed, we just gotta slide it up, not down like we just did. Yeah. Dang. Hell yeah. We thought our U joint was bad and we were like, damn, how are we gonna drive? Alright guys, next checkpoint is Kicker Audios HQ. And as you can see, there is no race weakers around. Because everyone else is at the track. But we're here and we're just zooming right on through. This is our last checkpoint, Brent. Oh, we still got one more. Alright, we'll bubble. 
gassing this sucker up. What do we got? Like 100 miles to go still? Yeah, about that. How have we made such slow progress today? It we were transmission in by stop. one and then... I think every stop sign in the country is located here. Yeah, the the budget for this town where these few <laughs> checkpoints are, for stop signs has to be incredible. I mean, I've never seen so many stop signs. I wish we could have data logged how many times I pushed the clutch in. We are definitely breaking in the clutch. <laughs> Guys, we honestly don't know if we're on the right route or not, but we're on a gravel road. So we have to idle so we don't get We lost the filter for the left, the left turbo, so we don't want to go fast and get a rocket in. This is crazy, dude. Right. What is happening? All right, guys, you know the deal. Another shell service car wash, another water. Keep it cool. We're going to run the AC on. What you think about that, Georgie? Yep. So you want to keep it cool while you quit running the AC. Got some oil leaks. Not the pan though, so we're just going to clean it up, get it cooled off in this car wash, and get the oil leaks fixed. We're about 25 minutes out from the track, and uh, we well, only got to make an 8th mile today, a little weird, but uh, we're going to have this thing turned up, cranked up, do a personal best 8th mile today, so we can have a back half from our slip yesterday to get closer to that 750 goal. Get this thing looking right, get a lot of the oil out of the engine base so this way it doesn't drip on the track and they shut me down. That's the big thing you don't want to do is have it dripping on you. So get this thing all cleaned up, show you the after. Last checkpoint. There we go. Hey, how about that drive, dude? It wasn't bad. We just took about a 45 minute nap after we washed. You did? Yeah, you guys slept in the car? Wash. <laughs> you sleep in the car? Yeah, it just happened, you know? Casual yeah. garage, dude. Well, that sounds really nice, boys. Glad. What, did you guys sleep in till noon, too? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> what a luxurious day for yeah. a Team Ruby. Did you get the snow kind of drive past the park so it was blowing open? No. Oh, you got lucky because it would have... You, you guys right would have wrecked. Right. <laughs> you, you, you are wrecked right now. Bro, we've been working on this piece of crap all day. <laughs> I'm so sick of this car. I could have brought the El Camino. Dude, the El Camino is like a five-star spot compared to this piece of crap, dude. I'm so, I am so sick of this car right now. I can't even say. Dude, we're not hanging them on the rafters just yet. Hey, that's, you know, that's just very sweet, you know? Dude, we're driving on the road, steering just locks. We're like driving off the road. I'm like, this is fantastic. This is Overheating in the middle of the interstate, like just so much BS. Hey, but that's why I love Leroy. He, yeah, we, uh, he definitely keeps things exciting, but you sleep a lot less when he's around. That uh, oil filter we put on yesterday created yeah. a small leak. So we, after we washed it, we got a new filter, put it on there, no put leaks. more oil, no leak, Perfect. cleaned her up real good. She's looking Did good. Look at the engine bay on this unit. All yeah, what did you guys pressure wash it? Yeah. Oh. Oil. <laughs> No, yeah. <laughs> you guys are idiots. <laughs> Don't worry, we are too. <laughs> yeah, I bet your horn is struggling a little. What is that? <laughs> Mid American Dragway, brother. Oh, dang. Oh. We made it. <laughs> yes. I'm going to take a nap in this grass. <laughs> right here. Hey, seconds. the sun, look, the sun is still up just slightly. So, but guys, we did just hear that because this track is so short and the cars are so fast that they're only running the cars that are faster than nine seconds to the eighth mile. So we will only be going eighth mile. I don't know how they do the back half of the slip though. So guys, we just found out they're using our quarter mile back half from yesterday, which sucks for us because we turned it into nine six yesterday. But at least the back half was decent yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So it probably won't be that big of a deal. I'll look it up really quick. But ideally we would have used the 811. You know what I mean? That back half is probably ripping. This one, eh. How are we gonna do this tune? We got a brand new clutch. Yeah. We have no idea Not a clue. what to expect, but we need a decent number. We do really need How about we go, well we, I was thinking 4250. 4250, but no boost in first gear. Like Maybe two or three pounds. Two or three, okay. Two or three pounds of dome pressure on the boost yeah. controller. And then just leave the rest alone. Like, yeah. it was making like 15 pounds in second, third, and fourth. Yeah, and if, you know, we don't get it the first lick, then we'll make it second. Okay. 
Yeah, but let's try and try and get done. Anything under a 540, I think we can take home. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so our back half yesterday was like 3.1 seconds. Yeah. So if we run a 540, that's like an 85. Yeah. So that'd be faster than the that than he can run, I think. Yeah. I don't think he's ran faster than 85. Yeah. 540 is our goal, okay. or faster, or a 490. Always a 490. Because a 490, that's like a seven friggin' 50. So you know they're taking our back house from yesterday. Yeah. So if you wanted a perfect 750, you'd have to run a 482 tonight, which would be the fastest she's ever gone. Oh, she's going fast. I see it because you're crashing the car, but I got a tin up in it right now. It leaves and takes the hit. It well, goes I saw the video. I edited it. goes about 40 foot and then power wheels a little bit and then comes down. Yeah. You were like, did so, it pull the tire? I was asking because I could feel it. And yeah. Then, oh, and George is like, I don't know. I've been focusing on filming. So, yeah. Yeah. It's got a little power wheelie to it. Well, man. we'll so, see what happens. The track so, holds and I'm going seven. Anything if you're a high 480 or a yeah, 490, I mean, you're freaking on it. Okay, yeah, you look wrecked. You look like you got hit by a Kansas tornado all right, all and you're right. in the Wizard of Oz. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Grant, on the other hand, look like a million bucks. <laughs> Let's go! Whoa, moly! This guy is a madman! Let's go, Leroy! Eight seven nine with an eight. His average Chad Finley eight seven nine with a two. Let's go, Leroy. New clutch. See if this thing will do what it used to. Takes it out real good Woo. first gear. It gets a little sketchy and it looks like he maybe missed second gear. A lot of power in that unit right there. Too much horsepower. so hard I mean instead of it normally flashing up to like 7,000 rpm it locked up at 5,500 so at that point the car started making a bunch of boost eight pounds shook the tires off which the track just couldn't hold it so uh what I'm thinking is we just turn down first gear we got to get this thing up into the higher gears and we'll be good A to B baby A to B baby Let's go. Let's change. 
finally back in the staging lanes. Lucky Pebble, baby. I ain't screwing this up no more. That's right. Let's do his thing. 480. So risky though with the track. What what what, what was the eighth James mile? Smith? No. What do you use? I don't know. You don't know where he went? To the eighth? Yeah. You can't no? see it. He went at eight eighteen though. Man. Yeah, off the throttle. I saw yeah. it. <laughs> so he had been going pretty good. Well that's exciting. It looked like there a good one. It looked like a good rip. Yeah. So now I gotta make something happen. Four ninety five. Four ninety five. Four ninety five, okay, okay. That'll do it right there, son. They don't call him Jackson. Lucky Pebble, dude. All right, guys, so we pulled back up. That pass, it bogged so bad, it went boof. Wow. And then I missed the one, two ship, so it was a super slow 60 foot, combined with a bad ship, and it's sticks up. So we threw a lot of RPM at the lead. Should leave it a lot more up, but hopefully not enough to where it strikes the tires. This is the old RPM we used to launch at when this clutch was in the car. But the clutch seems super tight, like it locked up and went ripping on the last run. So, let's see what happens. One last shot, luckily. One last shot luckily. Luckily. Dude. Yeah, otherwise, we gotta throw the sink at it tomorrow. Yeah, you ain't lying. Ain't lying. You don't do this, you better run a six tomorrow, son. Let's go! Let's go, let's go, Leroy. <laughs> Not perfect, but God, Leroy's an animal. Thank you. 
basically we're turning in like a 9-2, I think, 9-3. That's going to hurt our average pretty good. I mean, if we have any hopes of getting back into first tomorrow, we're going to have to run this thing to the moon. We gotta have to go with seven, probably. All right, guys. Well, I had to turn in a 9.18 or something like that. So now our average is 889 to an 874. Someone do the math. We're gonna have to go real fast to catch him. And it also depends on what he runs tomorrow. So that sucks. James is in a comfortable spot in second. He's not close to the guy in first, and he's also not close to the guy in third. So that's not bad. Parker, you're in third? I'm in third, but I'm really close to the guy in fourth. Oh, really, really close to the guy in fourth? Real close. Gotta get that thing figured out tomorrow, dude. I know. So right now we gotta switch the cars back over in street mode and get on the road. Uh, sir, sir, if you can get out of our pits, please. What, me? Yeah. Dude, I thought I could figure this out. Wait, is this, <laughs> is this one of them supercharged cars? Yeah, this is a, it's an electric turbo. I knew it looked like a Tesla. Uh, That's yeah, what it's it was. Yeah, a Tesla. All right, guys, we're gonna knock down some miles tonight. Now we get to the track a little bit earlier tomorrow and not end up only getting a couple runs. Because we're gonna need a lot of runs if we want to dial this thing back into a seven second car. Alright, first one. We're moving. Alright guys, we're calling it a day. Thanks for watching new for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.